I know I shouldn't be eating that, but I always like to look for the areas in the hospital where no one's here, and I just like to chill. I think someone's asleep right now. <laughs> Yo, what's really good, future? Today I wanted to discuss a topic that, um, man, my hair, my hair. <laughs> Today I want to discuss a topic that um, is different from what a lot of people have been requesting. But uh, this is kind of like something that I apply to myself as of recent and the past years is that in my nursing practice, I always give myself one year, one year before doing something new. And I'll explain why. So sit tight. Now I always give myself this one year rule because in life, I noticed that no matter what I put my mind to, it took me about a year to kind of plateau. Well, with nursing, I feel like it's the same way. I noticed this in my practice when I got bored with uh, med surge. And I went to, um, what was it? I went to long-term care, but I even got more bored with long-term care because it became too routine. When I started get to get to that point and I knew that like it was getting a little too easy, I told myself that I always needed a new challenge. One of my very first mentors told me also that if I wanted to hone in on my skills was to go back to the basics and always always do something harder and challenge yourself. That's what I did was I went into CSICU. Hence where I am right now. Ooh. It is chilly in Los Angeles right now. It's about 50 degrees. And remember, Apple Day keeps the doctor away. Time management is key to success in nursing. That's why you have to get your stuff ready first before going inside the room, so therefore you stay on top of things. All right, so I got a couple patients with um, small bowel tube feeds in. I need a Lopez valve. This is what you need before you start. Um, what's it called, the tube feeds, and always make sure that it's painted by flushing. I need a irrigation tray too. Forgot to mention sterile water. I'm gonna teach you guys something real quick. This drug is called Sildenafil, AKA Revadio. This is for right-sided heart failure. And you could always monitor PA pressures or CBP to see whether or not the drug is effective. But in most cases it will not be indicative of the CVP or the PA pressures, but you will want to continue to monitor right, start, right heart failure uh, symptoms like um, edema, uh, things like that. I'm currently on my first 15 minute break and for a lot of people who are asking how I'm able to edit everything that I'm doing, I bring my laptop with me everywhere. So during my breaks, I am editing and continuously uploading. There's a medication I could teach you guys really quick. This is called norepinephrine. This is an alpha-1, alpha-2 antagonist. And this is a vasoconstrictor, particularly on the arterial and venous beds. So when a patient has low blood pressure, um, it could mean that they're either dehydrated or have low vascular volume, or they might just need some pressors because, you know, uh, naturally their catecholamines aren't working. Here is another drug I could teach you about too. This is called amiodarone. This is an antirhythmic drug. I don't want to get too particularly into like the details of its drug, but what it does is it takes care of, takes care of, takes care of dysrhythmias, meaning say if they're in AFib or they have some kind of arrhythmia. This drug, you would usually bolus the patient, then start them on a one milligram for six hours and drop it to 0.5 until uh, they're actually ready to bridge them to PO medication. Right, going back to my previous point, and with my experience, I try my best to see how I like it within one year to kind of assess whether I want to go that route or another route. So as for the moment, I am really enjoying travel nursing. I can see myself in this like field probably for another two, three years while I snowball my cash from you know my master's and my NP schooling. So definitely look forward to that. And it's my 30 minute break right now. So I'll see you after I do some editing. So I'll see you next break.
I know I shouldn't be eating that, but I always like to look for the areas in the hospital where no one's here, and I just like to chill. I think someone's asleep right now. So someone was asleep over there, and I was all being all loud. I was actually inside the, uh, the dining lounge. <laughs> someone was asleep. And I'm being all loud. It has been pretty okay. They floated me to a, another unit, a liver unit. So ended up getting one patient. I'm gonna cut this video out right here so I can edit it a lot quicker and get it up to release this Saturday and get a lot more footage in these past, next couple days. So therefore, uh, I can release them in sub subsequent weeks because I'll be going to the Philippines. So therefore, I have nursing content going up at the same time with vlog content. So yeah. Hope you guys take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Follow me on my social media networks. It'll be listed somewhere here. And also, turn on your notification. It's on your mobile app, so therefore you can see when I upload videos for those who are wondering when I upload. So, I'm trying to upload more frequently. Anyways, y'all take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.